Hello Star Wars fans, my name's Joel Robinson, and this is Star Wars Rebels Season 2 Analysis. Star Wars Rebels Season 2 is about to begin. We've been given a small glimpse of what's to come in the next season. And let me just say, hold on to your lightsabers, because things are about to get serious. First things first, I love the new trailer, but the clips make no sense out of context. So let's sort them by episode order. That's better. And since I've already done a episode analysis of Siege of Lothal, I'm going to skip over that. But if you'd like to see that, the link to the full analysis is in the description. Starting off, episode 2, The Lost Commanders. Hera wants more allies, and Ahsoka has an idea of who they could pick. Ahsoka sends our rebels to the Silo system where they discover Rex, Gregor, and Wolf living in an old ATTE. Kanan doesn't trust the clones and questions their loyalties. They soon are forced to work together as the Empire discovers their location. This episode will be a fun transition from the Clone Wars to Rebels, and will allow for a great amount of character development. Episode 3, The Relics of the Old Republic. So Ezra and the rest of our Rebels are becoming closely knit with the clones, but Kanan still has his doubts. The crew of the Ghost and Soto's ship must get past an Imperial trap. The Sentinel-class Star Destroyer pulls in the Alderanian cruiser, and the crew has their first encounter with one of the new Inquisitors, called the Fifth Brother. Number 4. Always two there are. The fleet is in need of new supplies, and Zeb, Sabine, Chopper, and Ezra go to what was thought to be an abandoned Republic medical station. But while there, they encounter both Inquisitors, the Fifth Brother and the Seventh Sister. Number 5. Brothers of the Broken Horn. After a terrifying run-in with the new Inquisitors, Ezra is terrified and seeks a break from being a Jedi and Rebel. He and Chopper end up going on a rescue mission when a distress signal is received. Surprisingly, the signal comes from Hondo Ahonka, who offers Ezra the opportunity to walk away from the Rebellion. Number 6. Wings of the Master Because the Rebels have been trapped by an Imperial blockade, they enlist the help of a tiny Mon Calamari mechanic named Query, who has developed a new fighter that will be called the B-Wing. Very little is known about what else will happen in this episode, but it will be exciting, to say the least. Number 7, Blood Sisters. Sabine is in trouble, being hunted by a bounty hunter, who appears to be an old friend from Mandalore. One side note, as you look very close up to the symbols on the bounty hunter's helmet, you can see something that looks very much like a hidden Mickey Mouse face. Anyways, the most interesting thing about this episode was that it looks like our team will be returning to Coruscant. Sometime during the season, we know that Ahsoka will be investigating the new Inquisitors and Darth Vader. During the time, she'll be exploring Project Harvester, the Empire's policy of taking Force-sensitive children to be trained into Inquisitors. What episode that will occur, I'm not sure, but I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to dive into some theory crafting with me, then go ahead and jump into those comments down there. Some of your comments might even be featured in my next theory crafting video. And as always, may the Force be with you.